So I just came across a video from Ben, uh, VE6SFX. He's the ham radio rookie. is his YouTube channel. Ridiculously smart guy. He's in movie props. He worked on the Ghostbusters movie. He made that little RC, uh, like, ghost trap thing. But he also makes the Faraday antenna. And he has a little short out that he's got a bunch of ideas, as I'm sure he does. But he's talking about patenting them. And I want this video to get more traction. And I want to know what you guys think. So let's take a look at this video. And then I will tell you what I think. Active here. And there's been kind of a reason is that I've been working towards getting a patent. But I do have a question for you all. Patents are very expensive and hard to defend. Especially from China. I've got some really cool antenna ideas, but I'm also kind of terrified to share them because I don't want somebody to eat my lunch. I want to make a living out of making these antennas. So my question to you is, what would you do? I'm starting to think that I should just get out there, release some products and see what everybody thinks. And I'm not looking to be the wealthiest guy on the planet, but I do see that there is a little bit of money in some of these ideas I have. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, please. So I'll link that in the description so you guys can watch that. Go leave comments on his video. That's a really touchy subject. I already commented on his video there that we just watched. And while I'm no inventor, as far as I know, I'm the first person to make a linked and fed half wave. And I'm certainly the one who has popularized it in the last few years. And now, there's so many antenna manufacturers that are making linked and fed half waves. Do I get any credit as the person who first came up and decided to make a linked and fed half wave? No. But now you've got a bunch of other antenna manufacturers that are making linked and fed half waves. I don't get a dime for it now, but I wasn't looking for that either. But Ben's situation is he's actually creating things and thinking out of the box. There's, this, is, this is Faraday cloth on a strap with a PCB that he had to design. This BNC is connected to a PCB that connects the, the uh, basically the coax to the antenna. He's got other ideas. Again, the guy makes props for movies. He's smart. So do you guys think that he should patent these antennas? I mean, it, there's nothing wrong. This is, this is America, man. Well, he's in Canada, but, uh, you know, capitalism all the way, you come up with a great idea, you should get credit both financially and just recognitionally for your ideas. Uh, and those should be protected by a patent. On the same hand, I understand that this is ham radio and a lot of things are shared freely and, and done selflessly. Uh, but even if, he, even if he patented these, there's still nothing stopping a consumer from just buying these materials and making them, you know? So uh, it is also extremely expensive to make patents. And uh, it would be pretty much impossible to uh, stop the Chinese manufacturers from just completely ripping him off and making money. I mean, how many things have we seen from China that are just direct ripoffs of products that came uh, out of the United States or, or Europe, or they just, they steal, at China, the Chinese steal from the Chinese. Look at how many Bofang clones are out there. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Head over to Ben's channel and let him know what you think. Uh, either way, I think he will be successful, but how is how can you really protect your, uh, your interests? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know. We'll talk to you.